All right, so we've got some recommended actions um, moving forward, and a number of the working groups uh, within the government and industry partners, uh, that's what's been great about this collaboration, is pulling together some best practices and trying to move ahead here. Uh, but we need to formalize this. You can't hire a position for someone that doesn't exist. Uh, I, I can tell you that we're looking at an executive order from the White House, like you know, we've done in, for energy and things like that, for a cybersecurity workforce. So who thinks that these type of skills should be part of a cybersecurity workforce for the future? I'm not saying you're going to be it. You're going to be contributing to it. But, but yes, yes, everyone's hands should go up. Yes, we need to have folks, uh, and starting from the earliest parts of learning, to not just focus on IT and focus on cybersecurity. Uh, formalize the tools and uh, you know, hire dedicated staff for those who, um, unfortunately, you may need to ask someone for their advice on this. Uh, but again, a lot of the tools and uh, initial advice uh, can be free. Um, and then another key part that we want to uh, uh, promote here is we've got uh, uh, computer-based training, we've got formalized classes, and we're going to give you a links to a lot of those. How are we doing on time? We got two more minutes? OK. So just kind of talk about <coughs> what my uh, ultimate goal on this. So we got an engineers in here, so I know someone can solve this Rubik's Cube. Has anybody not ever seen a Rubik's Cube before? Has anyone not tried one before? All right, now come on. Somebody thinks that they can do this. All right, you don't have to do it all. Can someone do at least one? All right, well, we'll have you just try it, OK? All right, so that's, that's, there's a standard amount of difficulty associated with the Rubik's Cube. We all got that when I, I broke it out. That one, he's got three in a row right now. And we're like, ah, oh, that's kind of tough. Who thinks that they're a little bit smarter than this guy? Come on, I know somebody thinks they are. <laughs> What's that? OK, somebody, you know, so yeah. All right, so that's one more row. The added complexity goes up orders of magnitude on that. Now, here's the deal. There's an understanding of a certain amount of complexity. And what I'm uh, trying to share with you is the systems that you all are chief stakeholders in and making sure are functionally uh, uh, capable, running in accordance with design, and safe, needs to also have a certain amount of uh, security embedded in that. However, right now, this is about the complexity of our control systems, right? So I'm going to give you a shot at this one. All right, so that's pretty simple. It's not instantly simple, but it's pretty simple. And what I'm hoping for, what I'm, I'm very happy to be part of this uh, team and in, 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 in putting together these recommendations, we look forward to any feedback from you, is to translate the challenge from two by two to as complicated as this. All right? I was in one of these presentations, and, and a woman told me her 12-year-old daughter saw this. Uh, that's going to take a little while. All right, so we'll have you kind of work on that. You don't have to get them all. But anyway, so that's all I have for right now, and we'll go over uh, some of the uh, areas for training uh, later on in the presentation.